and all sessions are going to be recorded. They're basically recorded in case anybody misses it. When we record it, it's just going to record the screen and the audio, no video. So don't freak out if you put your webcam on that someone's going to see that you haven't done your makeup. I did mine this morning, so it's um, still pretty shiny, but you know, it's not much you can do about that. Um, it's going to record that. So yeah, if I can ask each of you to put yourselves on mute um, now, just by clicking your little icon, so I don't need to. So, um, Otherwise, we're going to have that background noise. So, Grant and John, can you guys just pop yourselves on mute, please? Uh, so, just click the little microphone icon, and it'll mute it on your on your window. There we go. And just Johnny, we're waiting for you, unless you've put this on hold. I think he's just jumped out. Um, that should be it. I think no, someone else has still got us on hold. Okay, I'm going to pop everyone on mute now. It's going to leave me on. It's going to get rid of that background noise. And guys, we're going to kick off. So down the bottom of your um, the bottom of your go to meeting box is a little chat box. So I'm just going to type in there now and just say hi guys, and you'll see that pop up. That's how we're going to communicate through the sessions until we come off mute. Now. Today there's eight of us on, but as it gets a bit bigger, it could get up to like 15. I'm going to try and cap it so there's no more than 20 of us on there at any one time. Um, if you've got messages, hit me on there. So Grant's just switched to computer audio and you can't hear anything. Sorted, very good. This is typically what happens. If I tend to find the first couple of sessions, it's it's like a go-to meeting session. That's why you'll notice we don't have anything um, very technical that we're going to get into today because if you haven't used GoToMeeting before, there's a few things that we're going to try and uh, sort out and make sure that everybody knows what they're doing before we do that stuff. Um, cool, so let's uh, let's fire off. So if you've got any questions, chuck them in the chat box uh, and we will try to answer them as we go. Let's cover off what we're actually going to go through today. So today is really uh, just a kickoff session. Okay. So I'm going to introduce myself and my team. They're hanging out outside today because they're smashed with work. So they're not going to they're not going to stick their heads in today. But over the course of the webinars, they are um, Chris and Sarah, and they, they both do different roles in here, both from our advice and mortgage working business, but they also help out with the coaching stuff from time to time. So a uh, little bit of an introduction from me. I know some of you know me already, so I'm going to try and keep that really brief. But for those of you that I haven't met, um, we're going to go through that. Then I want each of you to have a crack. So I'm going to take you off mute and we're going to go one by one. I'll, I'll yell out your name, uh, who you are, where you're from, what you do and what you're hoping to get out of the course. And then out of everyone's what you're hoping to get out of the course, we're going to pick one and we're going to talk about that. I'll also share um, what's going to be in the kit bag. So each of you, because you've signed up for the kit bag plus the coaching calls, you're going to get all of the toolkit stuff as well. So I'm going to explain how that works. Um, and give you an update on when the course is going live, some other stuff that's happening behind the scenes with our good friends ASIC and how that's slowing things up. Um, and then, uh, yeah, the software. So we're adding Money Brilliant into the mix as well so I can talk through that. Um, cool. Guys, any questions along the way, hit me in the chat boxes. Uh, you'll see my eyes constantly darting down to the right. That's where I'm actually watching to see what is going on. Cool. So uh, really quick little bit about me and the team. So I know most of you know us, but Experience Wealth is our advice business. It's been going for eight years. Um, we've got our own license. We've had it for coming up for two years. Um, and we're specialist Gen X, Gen Y, financial planning, mortgage breaking, financial coaching type business. Um, no referral partners, all of our clients come from referrals from other clients, uh, started from scratch and uh, there's only three of us in here now. We got to five, we actually got to six people and then we've shrunk down back to three and it's working really, really well. We're about to hire our fourth person in the Philippines uh, starting in two weeks who's going to be doing our zero, money soft, my prosperity, money brilliant, back office stuff which I'll talk to you guys about another time if you're interested in finding out how we're going to help you do that. Um, why do we do coaching uh, rather than just doing planning and mortgage broking? Basically, I had to teach myself how to do this. So six, seven years ago when I started doing this stuff, eight years ago, there was no one. So we basically started from scratch, learning as we went, 
using Excel. There was no apps. There was no programs. Um, manually reconciling Excel uh, exports out of bank accounts, which was a nightmare. But clients found it extremely valuable. We initially did it as a compliance tool to be able to prove what the client spent when we put a number into a statement of advice and projected it forwards. Um, and uh, the end story is it became extremely valuable. The clients loved it more than they loved the other planning stuff that we were doing uh, so that we built our offer out around that. So roll forward to where we are today. Uh, we've been going for eight years. We've been tracking numbers for six and a half of those years um, on zero for six years now. Um, we've got our heads across my prosperity, money brilliance. We pretty much know the market inside and out. And my job is to teach you guys everything that we've learned in eight years, all the good bits, all the bad bits, um, stop you from making mistakes before you start them, help you deal with your licensees and your aggregators because let's be honest, they have no friggin' idea what this stuff actually is and how it works. Their answer is I think it belongs in a statement of advice if you're a financial advisor and if they're a mortgage broker, they just sort of stick their ears, fingers in their ears and hope that it all goes away. How to position it with clients, referral partners, uh, and basically give you everything that we never had when we started to help you be successful. Uh, married, three kids, and I love coaching. I love doing business coaching. Um, I'm not actually taking on any more financial planning clients. I'm focused from this day on. I'm focused on sticking the clients that I've already got uh, and then just working with you guys to help you do what we do and, and make your own version of it and probably make it 10 times better than what we've done. So guys, in a nutshell, that is me. Let's go around now. I'm going to take everybody off mute. I might go Brian. I'll take you off mute, Brian. Now you've self-muted, so do you just want to take your little mute button off? You click here. Okay. okay. All right. I'm just The floor is yours, mate. Tell us yep. about yourself. Uh, my man band, I was previously working in a mortgage broking firm as a planner, uh, mainly writing risk business. I've since uh, set up my own business and looking to expand the client offering to um, investments and, and uh, more so, I, I guess, um, personal wealth management. I found a lot of clients, um, sort of bulk of insurance is probably one of the first things that they drop. When money gets tight, they say that they can't afford it. And um, I think it's not so much that they can't afford it, it's more that their personal finances aren't set up properly to begin with. So I'm hoping to um, find the, the magic uh, key to, to market this, this part of the business to um, both existing clients and new clients. Cool. Uh, also Great. married with three kids. Awesome. Um, Thanks, Brian. Uh, uh, in Maitland, currently working from home, cool. um, seeing clients either online or at their place. Um, yeah. Awesome. Welcome to the uh, welcome to the family. Thank you. Uh, now, Charlie, I've already found you a friend, mate. So there's uh, um, somebody for you to hang out with. And uh, do you want to give us a little bit of background on yourself? I will unmute you. You should be off. Let's, I'm going to put everybody on now. So uh, you should be self muted. Can you hear me there? I can go for it, mate. Can you hear me? Yep. We can. Yep. Oh, okay, cool. Hi, Steve. And I met you on last week in Sydney. You did, mate. Uh, I went to your, to your workshop in Sydney. That was awesome. So, and yeah, so I'll, I'm basically, again, mortgage broker and financial planner. And started my my own business about more than five years. I've been in the industry for over 15, but um, as a financial planner, only about five and five years. And yeah, I noticed that when I do a lot of, look at my clients, a lot of the um, XY as well, a lot of home loans, and I know that there is a lot of need for helping them pay the debt off. So everyone gets into debt, but don't know how to get out of debt. And, you know, I, I believe that, you know, obviously, um, Financial coaching is important to get someone to either, you know, to look to buy another investment property and so on. And that's important, reducing debt as well. So this was, for me was a, it's, it's an area that I've always been passionate about, but I didn't know how to offer it to my clients basically in a, in a well, in what do you call it, structured manner. Yeah. So that's what I'm hoping to learn as well. Cool. Now you've got an advantage because you've already been to the uh, one day intensive workshop. So I'll probably uh, lean on you to help the others out as we go through the, the webinars, mate. Is that cool? 
Yeah, no worries. Awesome. Welcome, Charlie. Uh, all right, Claudia, your turn. Hi, Steve. Um, my name is Claudia Rigoni. My business is called uh, Rigali Financial Solutions. I'm based in Ivanhoe, Melbourne. Been in business for about 11 years. Um, writing risk, um, also um, holistic financial planning, or what they would have called holistic financial planning in the past, which I don't think um, sort of suits it anymore. Um, do a lot of work with women, um, divorced and, um, and widowed women. Seems to work well for me. And I also do some work in aged care. Um, now, and the reason I'm doing the course is just another offering, um, keeping me up to date and um, j just being able to educate clients and, um, yeah, again, just keeping me up to date and so I can offer a better offering. Um, yeah, and I don't know what else. And, um, yeah, I just want to learn how to offer and, um, and how to present it and be proficient in presenting it. Cool. Thank you, Claudia. Uh, Craig. Hey Steve, how are you going? Good night. Oh, I'm from sunny Coral Mountains, Craig I'm from sunny Brisbane, so it's always nice up this part of the world. Um, I've been a planner for 20 years, I started when I was 21. Uh, I actually had an RJP practice which I sold three years ago because I didn't particularly like the way the industry or that particular style of industry was going. So I started, started from scratch, um, from zero clients, which is a tough call. The situation was a lot different, but yeah. at the end of the day, my, my main structure is around is, is having some structure around the um, uh, cash flow management. I believe is a huge benefit to helping clients get the basics right. I call it my incubate. So get the basics part right first, and then um, everything else will follow. So it's uh, yeah, it's good to join the group. Cool. Welcome. So we've got uh, a Victorian, a couple of New South Welsh men, and a Queenslander so far. So that's a nice mix. Uh, Grant, your turn. You hear me? You can. Awesome. Uh, another Queenslander. This is where the party's at. Um, based on the Gold Coast. I uh, left my job uh, a few months ago to start up my own. Um, bought into a small register of clients with AMP. Um, yeah, got a heavy focus on money and debt management. So I just wanted to get a whole lot of other insights uh, into you know, other things I could potentially be doing, making sure I'm doing things, I guess, effectively or efficiently. Uh, not a huge background in doing this for other people other than myself. Um, so yeah, just uh, really trying to, to hone in on it because I want that to be my core offering, which then extends out to everything else. Okay. Cool. Welcome to our second Queenslander, uh, John. Let's see if John, you hit your, uh, hit your unmute button, mate. You should be right to go. He thinks his microphone's cool. Right. No, go for it. You're there now. Can you hear me? You can. G'day, guys. John Metzera here, um, financial planner for about nine years, based in uh, Geelong, Victoria. Um, basically, reason for wanting to be part of the XY Academy is I was trained in a KL Retire Invest business, and since I started up here in Geelong, um, I've noticed uh, just a significant amount of XY clients have been sort of drawing my way, given my age and that sort of thing. Um, and cash flow, debt management, that sort of thing is um, a key pillar in providing holistic advice. So um, cash flow is something I've been doing, but not really well. Um, and I probably don't have the expertise or tools to uh, position an offering. So yeah, that's why I'm here and hoping to learn for you guys. Cool. Now John, uh, John's probably the benefit of doing a workshop as well. So he's um, he's a little bit more advanced. So I'm going to lean on you as well, mate, if that's cool. Very cool. Thanks. <laughs> uh, Marcus, over to you. Yeah, uh, Marcus from Sydney. I've got a, um, I started up a, a planning and mortgage business about two and a half years ago. Um, really looking at, uh, I guess, cash flow management is a broadening and broadening of offering, uh, especially for those first home buyers. They're looking for deposits, or look, or as someone else has mentioned, um, looking at reducing their owner occupied debt. Um, 
because certainly in Sydney, people are getting themselves into huge amounts of mortgages without, I guess, thinking about what the cost of that is going to be over the, the longer term. So looking at from um, both debt reduction as well as just general cash flow management um, and looking for a structured program that I guess clients are also going to pay for rather than say, yes, we'd like it, but we're not happy to pay for something that we don't have cash flow for. Cool. All right, thanks, Marcus. So uh, we've got a nice broad mix. We've got some New South Welshmen and uh, some Queenslanders. Uh, we've got a couple of Victorians. Uh, male heavy in this first call, but there's a lot of females that uh, it's really not, it's good. Like when I look at the mix of who's signed up for the course, uh, it's far more representative than the new breed coming through. So it's sort of 50 50 male and female, which is cool. You know, you go to an old, you go to an AFA or an FBA thing, it's male, 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 and there's more females coming through. So it's good. And I think the reason why that's good is because we're going to come at it from different angles. Um, males historically are very analytical in the way that we look at the numbers and try to communicate back, less empathy. Females, as a general rule, are far more empathetic when it comes to um, emotions and money and all of those types of things as well. And you're going to learn through this course Yes, I'm going, to, I'm going to make you guys technically proficient. So there's no issues with that. You're going to know um, step one through to step 20 for argument's sake. And the thing that's going to separate the, the ones that want this to be a core versus the ones that want to do this as sort of a, an add-on is the ones that want it to be a core. Your, your real skill set is knowing how to actually manage the clients as opposed to manage the process because the process will take care of itself. Um, and so that's one of the big things that I'm going to try, is, and try and empower uh, and impart onto you as well is how do you deal with different situations. One of the modules coming up, one of the first modules that we're going to do um, is going to be the value from a client's point of view. And we're going to break it up into different client types. So singles, couples, uh, families, and then the different values, the different value that they'll get from having a financial coach, helping them with their money management program. Um, what I thought we might do now is just really quickly look at what's going to be in your toolkit, um, the technology, and then we'll come back to the wish list and we'll pick one thing. So have a think while I'm talking now and in the chat box down the bottom, if there's one thing that you're more worried about than anything else, something that you think is going to stop you from being successful in this, I want you to write that in the chat box down the bottom now. Um, so yeah, if there was one, if there was one pain point that I could get rid of as fast as possible for you, type that in the box now, and then we're going to pick the one that's the most um, most common, and we'll have a really quick chat about that, and I'll talk to you about how we're going to load that up later. Righto. So the toolkit, you guys are smart in having signed up for this because I've spent literally tens and hundreds of hours building all of the content that's sitting in there. Some of it needs a refresh and, and part of the process of going through this course load is it is being refreshed. Um, so you're going to get a Dropbox link, which I'm going to send to you after today's uh, session. Um, my request is I work on an honesty system, right? So you guys have paid for this. There's other people that have signed up just for the course. Um, the two honesty things that I ask you to do, don't share the kit bag with other people. So just keep the link to yourself. You can you can use our own stuff and rebrand it, do whatever you want, but uh, you know try to keep it to to just the family. Um, two, uh, please don't share the webinars that are recorded and pushed around. I don't want to start getting to a stage where I'm locking stuff up. It's it's not how I run stuff. So honesty, family, we've paid to be in here, so let's just keep it to the people that are in the crew. But within there, it's, the thing should be called the no excuses pack. You're going to get templates of everything. So template budgets, template reporting layouts, template emails, template presentations, both client, center of influence stuff, uh, some template wording suggestions around statements of advice. And this is going to be a really contentious issue as this space starts to unfold. Johnny and I have been pinging each other with trying to get some templates out of the AMP network, which have come through now and try and see what they've provided. Um, each licensee is going to have a differing level of understanding. Uh, mortgage broker aggregators are also going to be the same thing. So we're going to work through this. ASIC and I via the AFA are having conversations over the next couple of weeks to get a little bit of guidance around this stuff as well. Um, 
keep the hyperlink, save it on your desktop or save it on your, your Google um, Sheets because every time I add new content, I'm just going to load it straight into the Dropbox. And that way, uh, every time there's new stuff, it'll automatically go back in. Um, if there's stuff that you guys want, that you want me to add to your wish list of kit baggy type things, just send me a, the best thing is to put in the XY Facey group because that way I'm not dealing one on one. Um, and just add it. And then that way, if it gets, you know, two or three people saying, yeah, that'd be really cool, then I'll add it to my wish list of things that I can build as well. Technology that we're going to that we're going to work with. Now, when I say work with, this has got a massive set of asterisks and bunny ears around it. We use zero. Now, I'm not advocating one over the other. Um, each of these guys have pros and cons, and in part of your program, part of the course is a tech tutorial on each of the different softwares. The reason, again, why these things are taking longer. Uh, My Prosperity has to build us the tech tutorials because they don't have any of them yet, which sort of suggests that they're a little bit behind the curve. MoneySoft uh, has some stuff, but it's just, it's not good enough. <laughs> they're all not good enough. They need to get better at teaching us not just how to use steps in their system, but to actually have a process for how you use the thing with a client live. So we've got a standard uh, six-part tech tutorial that we're sending to My Prosperity, Money Soft, and Money Brilliant to say, guys, you need to build this for us, and then we're going to load it into the course so that everyone, irrespective of which software you use, you're going to have uh, the choice to look at each one, and it should all follow the same path. We're not looking at Cash Master or any other software at this stage. These are the four that we're going to go with because, in our opinion, they're the market leaders um, and they're the ones that you should be focused on on using as your partner. All right, let's have a look at the questions. So uh, we've got a system, a systemized to deliver a service. How to structure the program, determine how much time I should allocate to engage clients on an ongoing basis. Have clients pay for the service in the past? I've offered a cash flow service and the clients have wanted it but not pay for it. Pricing and making sure to choose the right uh, software platform. You done budget, uh, never done by on you, never new to it, never done budgeting before, pricing. And I think my microphone is cooked. Okay, so in the four minutes left, uh, I reckon what we might do is I'm going to go free for all. We're going to put everybody's microphones on. So if you guys want to have a chat, now's the time to, to throw it on. I reckon we go with the pricing value conversation right off the top and, um, and we'll come back to. Well, I'll show you in a lot of detail later how you're going to be able to position the value for it. Is that cool? Yep. All right. So we go with pricing and value because it's this, it's two sides to the same coin. In the, in the next session, we're going to talk about the three components of money management of all, sorry of a money management program, um, and, and then there's the financial coaching side of it. So you're going to be the coach, and the client's going to have the money management program in the same way that you would have for lack of a better analogy, a personal trainer, and then you have an exercise plan or an exercise program or a diet program. Um, it's the same thing. So the value is going to sit in two parts and therefore your price is the end outcome of that. And one of the things that we're going to work through in the second module is in the client value equation. And that's basically how do you deliver value and we're going to break value up into three components. Um, products, services, and solutions. How do you deliver enough value that when the client measures the cost of it, and cost is not just dollars these days, cost is time, cost is experience. Um, I'm going to spend a lot of time on this because I think the old school world of, of financial services was if I give my clients more time, that's automatically more value. Um, would everyone sort of agree with that? statement that's the way we used to do it to you know if we're going to give a, if we're going to have more service offerings for our clients if we would typically increase the time that we spend with them so um, I think what you're going to find through this is what clients are looking for is a transformation from their old non-organized money world and money selves to new organized money ninjas um, and to get to that transformation they don't care if it takes a minute an hour, a week, a month. In fact, if you can get it, if you can help them get there faster, they're going to, um, they'll add more value to that. 
if you can make the experience better for them, that adds more value. Some of the things you're going to learn through this is um, how to use technology more efficiently. So, I mean, right now I'm staring at you through one of our uh, one of our many webcams that we've got. Um, we don't use the standard stuff, and the reason why we don't use the standard stuff is because the, the quality of it's not good enough. So, most of our clients' ongoing meetings are done virtually. I'd say 60 to 70 percent. Um, there's a big block now about 10 to 20 percent that's done via video, um, and really only about 10 percent is done face to face for our, what we call a quarterly progress meeting. So, if you can deliver something to clients that increases the experience or improves the experience, then in their eyes that lowers the cost, which increases the value, and that's where you can start to then either increase your price point because it's more valuable, or you can offer it at a more affordable price point by lowering your cost of that. If you can deliver something to them in a two-minute video instead of a one-hour meeting, and it gets the same outcome, uh, from an efficiency point of view, from a cost point of view, you can lower your cost there. Um, I can just give you sort of a, a proof statement. We only get clients because of our goals process and our money management process. That's pretty much it. 100% of our clients are referred from existing clients. We don't do any marketing. We don't do any advertising. We don't get referrals for insurance or super ever or investments ever. It's 100% because of this stuff. So. The value, and our clients pay us out of their back pocket for this. Um, and they know how much it costs because we have a fixed price and we're going to have a pricing module and we're going to go through all of that stuff. But if our clients already know how much they're paying and they know what the experience is and they love it that much that they refer other people on specifically for that and those people come in and work with us knowing the cost, knowing everything, that sort of proof that this thing's going to work. Um, the only thing we've got to help you overcome is uh, not knowing how to do it. So that bit's actually fairly easy because there's certain processes that you follow and, and that's part of the course is learning um, onboarding, the new client process, the ongoing client process and all the different ways you can carve that up. Um, but the thing that you're going to learn and you're going to get more confidence with as you go through this is the value that the client's going to get. Um, so guys, it's a really quick, it's a really, really quick intro today. We've got another session on Monday. So Monday is the three components to money management, budgeting, banking, and reporting. So we're going to cover off that in a high level. Um, we're going to spend about 10 minutes on the budgeting process, 10 minutes on the banking process, 10 minutes on the, on the reporting side of things. And reporting flows into your technology, basically. Um, so between now and then, uh, if you haven't chosen a money management software to buddy up with, it's great. Don't, don't rush into this. Our expectation is by the time you get to the end of the course, you'll have tested everything, run a pilot, and you'll know which one you're going to go with. If you have already chosen and you're half sort of half pregnant and you're already doing it, um, still keep doing it, that's fine. But by the end of the reporting part, at least the intro piece, you're going to start to look at how the software actually delivers your process as opposed to the other way around, which is you trying to fit a process in to suit the software. Um, so guys, that is a super, super quick intro session. Each of these are only going to be half hours of power. The first two modules I'm going to have up by the end of, it's hopefully next week, if not next week, the week after. So that is going to be about five to six hours worth of content. And then my plan is to have two modules loaded per week after that. So by the end of September, the whole course is fully live. Um, I'm appreciating your patience as I get through this. There are some things holding this up. One in particular is ASIC's review into whether or not offset accounts are treated as cash products and how that impacts the regime around uh, banking and how you articulate that. I don't want to build a process that ASIC is going to force us to unwind and then I've got to train, I've got to detrain all of you and then retrain you again. So I'm sort of hedging my bets here that ASIC's going to give us some, some clarity by the middle of September, um, at least around what they believe, uh, how offset accounts are going to get treated, if it gets caught as a basic deposit product or if it's going to be treated as a financial product. If it gets treated as a financial product, that's going to give us a very clear break in between when you've got to do an SOA and when you don't, whether or not mortgage brokers are going to have an advantage or not. Um, so guys, super quick turbo today. I know we're four minutes over, so we're going to wrap. 
Um, have a great weekend. Thank you again for all your patience while I'm going through this. Because you're my early birds, I'm going to give you as much love and support as I can because you've taken a bit of a leap of faith with me. Um, go to the Facey group, add your questions, add your comments in there. Start to create some animosity in the nicest possible way with your licensee. Maybe not animosity, agitation. Let them know that you're doing the course. Let them know that you're expecting to get a guideline. Let them know that you've heard that other licensees are starting to produce guidelines around this, even if they're not necessarily crystal clear. Um, start to get some, you know, rattle the cage. Get them ready because uh, if you're a mortgage broker, you can have an easier time of it getting it through the aggregator. If you're a, lot, a financial advisor, as well as a mortgage broker, um, you might have to deal with the whole if it's an SOA or isn't it an SOA. And so starting to get them ready for that is a critical part of the process. Guys, have a great weekend. Um, any questions, hit me up in the Facebook group. Otherwise, I will see you Monday morning at the same time we go to the next topic, so uh, three buckets of three components of money management. So there you guys.